Hello guys, welcome to the second part of your lesson eight. And in this particular part or section, we're going to do um, some practical demonstration of arrays. So you'll be able to create arrays. You'll be able to um, list items from an array and you'll be able to call particular items from particular positions in an array. Finally, you'll be able to use some inbuilt methods or functions to manipulate your arrays. All right, so let's get started. So in our previous session, where we discussed the concept, we said we create arrays, or in Python, we call them lists. We create um, a list by doing this. So the name of the list, just like when you're creating a variable or you are uh, defining a variable, so you just give it a name equal, and then the square bracket. Then based on the first example, or the first part where we had some um, an array called fruits, we're going to do the same one here. So you have mango, your first item in the list. The second one was orange. Yeah. And then we had apple. So and the last one will be pear. So this is um, an array created. So basically it's just a list of items. Assuming you go in shopping to get some fruits and you go in there, you buy say some fruits. So it's just a list. And on the list, which is called fruits, you have some items. So there's mango, there's orange, there's apple, and there's pear. These are the four different um, fruits you have in your list. The next thing we would want to do is um, we just run this and then we would want to use um, what we learned. So we print what's inside the list. So in order for you to see what's inside the list, you just type fruits and print. When we run it, we should have all the items in our list. But sometimes what you would want to do is to pick some items at specific positions, as we mentioned, then we said, that's what's called uh, index positions. So the positions of your uh, list items are referred to as the index positions. All right. So basically, in order for you to call an item at a particular position, the first thing you would want to do is the name of the list or array. So in this case, it's fruits. And we have a square bracket. And uh, we put in the position number, which we call the index number at um, which we want to call the, the item. If we take a closer look, we mentioned that for arrays in Python, it's, it's we start counting it from a zero. So we have mango, we have orange, we have apple, and we have pear, which is the items we have in our list. Now, the first item will be at position zero, the second item position one, the third item position two, and the last item position three. So assuming we want to call the first item, we just have to say fruits and a zero, which is saying that we're looking for an item from the fruits list or fruits array, but we want at position zero, which is the first item. So we'll say print, we'll say fruits and the square bracket and then zero. So when we do this, it's going to go into the list and then pick just the first item. Assuming you want to pick, say, the third item, same thing. So we say print and then fruits, square bracket, and then the third item, which is not going to be position three, but position two, because this is the first item, second item, and third item, which is our index two. So we'll say two. And uh, when we run it, we have apple as being the third item. Sometimes you may have a very long list and instead of um, going through the list, you would want to just print the last item, but you don't know how long the list is. So it's a bit difficult for you to tell the last item. There are so many ways of doing it, but the easiest way is to start counting from the back. And in order for you to come from the back, we, we still use the numbers. We can still say one, but then this time around we say negative one because the negative sign is signifying the fact that you want to start counting from the back. So basically, if you want to print the last item, we say going to fruits, we want to start counting from the back. So the minus, and then we say we want the first item starting from the back. And this is how you do it. Now, 
let's see that in code. When we, we say print and we say fruits, square bracket and minus one or negative one. When we run that, it's showing, oh, sorry. <laughs> so the, the only problem is if you look at it, this is also a very good thing. One of the things you would want to know is how to resolve your errors. In this case, we say in print, but it's not, there's nothing like print in Python. So it was thinking you created a function called print, but there's no function we created called print. So by removing that and running it, we get a pair. So one, this is a very good example of how to be able to resolve errors when it comes to programming. These are things that will always happen and you should always be at the forefront when you see this. Just jump onto it and try and understand the error message and you fix it. All right, the next thing we would want to do is to look at, as I mentioned, in programming or in arrays, there is the concept of um, creation. So when we create your arrays, there's also the other concept of um, getting items at, or assessing items at in this position. That's not it. Um, there's also another uh, concept called um, the inbuilt functions where you go in and then, or inbuilt uh, methods where you go in and you use functions that are tied to lists when it comes to um, say arrays or lists. So an example is if we want to delete an item in our list, uh, we would we don't have to create a special code to do the deletion in Python. There's the the inbuilt function called delete, but then it's written as del d e l. So if you want to delete, say all the items in the list, you can say or one item in the list to say del, which means you want to delete something. So what do we want to delete? We want to delete something from the fruits, and then at which position maybe at position one which is sorry index one which is the second position so what will happen is in this particular case we have mango orange apple and pear position zero being mango position one being orange two and three or index now if we say we deleting this then it means we're removing this from the list when we do that what will happen is um, we reduce the list by one so we we'll have mango, apple, and pear. So we're removing the orange. Also, there's also another function called len. So what we use the len for is to know the length of your list, meaning we want to know how many items are in the list. So we say len, we want to know the number of items in the list. And we'll say, what's the name of the list? We say fruits. When we print this out, it should tell us how long the list is. So I think we'll start with the len. Let's go with the length first. All right. So I'll say length. This is just a comment. So the first item, we'll say print length and say fruits. So we're saying that we want the length of the list called fruits. So when I run that, it's saying four. What does it mean? It means that we have, it goes in there, checks the number of items in the list. So one, two, three, four. So it's saying we have four items in the list. Don't confuse the length of the list with the positions. The, long, uh, the, the maximum position we have in this list is index three, but the length, which is the number of items is four. The next thing is we deleting some item at a particular position. As I mentioned, we use, so deleting, when we want to delete, we use the del function or the del method. So what we do is we say print, so print, and then we say del, which signifies they want to delete something, we say fruits. And as I mentioned, we're deleting at position or index one. So I do this, once I run this, um, well, technically, we're not supposed to be printing it. So let me remove the print statement and let me run this code again. When I run it, nothing happens. Just going in there to delete something. So now, if I decide to print a list after, so I'll say print list after, after deleting item. Yeah. So if I print the list again, 
we'll say um, fruits. And this time around, when I print it, it's telling me mango, apple, pear. At the beginning, if you look closely, we had mango, orange, apple, pear. And at this point, we're saying we're deleting a particular item, which is the um, item at index one, and that was orange. So once we do that, we have only mango, apple, pear. So we have mango, apple, pear. If I would want to go back and look at the list, uh, the length of the list after the deletion, so length of list after deletion. So I'll say print, length, and then fruits. When I run this, it should tell me that we have length three, meaning we have only three items in our list. And that's what we have we have here. Sometimes it gets to a point where you would want to know the maximum items or the, the highest or the, the biggest item in your list. So I'll use another example before I come back to this. I'll say I'm creating another um, array called or list called numbers. So I'll call it numbers and then in this particular list, I'll say two, seven, 11, and 15. This is our list. So if I print it, if I print numbers and I run it, it should say two, seven, 11, and 15. But let's assume you would want to know the biggest item the biggest number in the list. So I'll say print, and then I'll use a different function called max. So meaning maximum, and I'll say from numbers, so numbers. And when I run it, it should tell me the biggest number, which is 15. So this is one way. If I want to know the smallest number, I'll say print, yes, your guess is as good as mine. So it's min, so minimum. And we say numbers. When I run that, that should tell me Oh, so the smallest number is two. And for things like strings where we had the fruits, if we want to know the, the, the maximum, technically what we're trying to say is that we want to know uh, in, in alphabetical order, which one is the, like, say you can say the latest. So if we start saying, uh, listing the alphabet, say A, B, C, D, E. So among this, the latest will be this one, which is E. Why? Because technically it's the biggest in terms of uh, number and opposition. This will be the one at the highest position when it comes to num uh, going into a sequence of alphabets in, or going to a list of characters in alphabetical order. So um, if we look at the list we have here for fruit, again, let me write the list again or let me print out the list so we say fruits and when i run that say mango apple pear so it just takes the first items in the list checks whether there's uh, the latest one so this is m so m comparing m to a so m is later than a so meaning it's kind of bigger than a so m between the two m is the biggest so and so we consider M and P, where P will be the uh, the latest. So when you're looking for the maximum for this particular list, the maximum should come up with pair. So let's see that. So we say print. Um, then we say fruits. Sorry, print max. And then we say fruits. So when we run that, it should say pair. Yeah, because that's the latest in terms of characters again where we want to look at the minimum a is the minimum so that would be apple so we we'll say print and we say main and we say fruits when i run that it should say apple yeah so yeah this is um how we deal with arrays and how you manipulate arrays and the kind of inbuilt or list the kind of inbuilt functions that comes with list in your uh, Python library. So if you have any questions, I would advise that you send that on the Daja platform. Also, I will attach this particular slide, or oh, sorry, this particular um, file uh, on the platform. So if you would want to also download it and then cross-check with what you're using.
that's also fine with me. And if you finish doing all this, don't forget to go in and do the assessment because that's also something that counts towards your final um, award. So I'll catch you in the next lesson and don't stop laughing. Thank you.